how has climate change impacted the current elephant population? Well, when we think about what's impacting elephants across the continent of Africa, the major challenges that elephants face are humanity and the growing footprint of human influence. So Africa has the fastest growing human population on the planet. And it's also African nations are in many cases developing very rapidly. And that comes with agricultural expansion, that comes with roads and railways cutting across landscapes and fragmenting them. And all of these human impacts are now being amplified by climate change. So as weather patterns become less certain, you don't know when the rains are coming, there are droughts are harder and longer than before. So uh, climate change is an amplifier to all the human caused impacts that are happening to elephants. So that's a description of, of how climate change is impacting. It's not one thing, it's everything. How do you work with farmers so they are more friendly to the elephants? Well, thanks for this question. We are working incredibly hard at Save the Elephants on exactly this topic. How do we help people be more tolerant to living with elephants? And we've come up with an entire toolbox of options. In fact, we've compiled over 80 different methods for people to learn to live with elephants, understand their behavior better, understand how to protect your farm boundaries, how to look after your school kids, and how to grow non-palatable crops in your farms to try to reduce the rate of conflict that's happening at the moment. And we're finding this is very successful, particularly if you combine different methods and don't rely on just one technique. Some of these methods can generate income, like our beehive fences, which we developed at Save the Elephants, which keep elephants out of farms, help pollinate your crops, and of course, provide income from the sale of honey and beeswax. So get, get hold of a copy. It's free to access on the Save the Elephants website, and I hope this will help you live with elephants in the future. Are we making any progress towards the elephant's future? In a word, yes, we are. So when we think about the future of elephants, we have to think about how the people that live in Africa alongside elephants feel about them because the future of Africa's elephants will be decided, be forged in the hearts and minds of Africa's people. That's unquestionable and that goes for how do governments feel about them? Are they going to give the core habitats? Are they going to give up the land for essential corridors that keep these ecosystems connected and allow elephants to move and so all the biodiversity that live in elephant areas can can survive as well so the the high level understanding and appreciation of elephants is important but so too is the is the local level the communities that live around national parks that live in amongst elephant habitats in nomadic areas they have to be on side too so we're making huge progress in reaching people inspiring them with the upsides and helping them through the downsides. So yes, we're making progress. Is poaching up or down? Are we losing more or less elephants to human interaction? Well, the answer to the first part of this question is that since China banned their domestic market in ivory at the beginning of 2018, we've seen poaching across the continent of Africa decline dramatically. And that's, that's really good news. Without the market there, the smugglers are no longer so interested in shipping ivory, smuggling ivory overseas, and therefore people don't have anywhere to sell uh, ivory. That's not to say that poaching has completely disappeared. People in less secure areas, there are still poaching hotspots across the continent. So we have to very much keep our eye on, on that ball. And we've seen that, that poaching pressure backslide occasionally in the past. So it's something we're very alive to. And we're always looking out to what killed that elephant. Was that an indication that poaching might come back? So that's really important. The second part of this, are we losing more or less elephants to human interaction? We are losing more elephants to human interaction with elephants. And by that human interaction, I mean conflict uh, with farmers and herders. Uh, that's now the major cause of illegal killing of elephants across the continent. So uh, in terms of the big problem that we're focusing on, this human elephant conflict is a major challenge and that's on the rise as humans start pushing more and more into elephant habitat. So um, poaching currently down, human interaction currently up. How quickly do elephants learn to use road or rail underpasses? Research at Save the Elephants has shown that elephants are very fast learners. They learn how to use a corridor in just a few months. If the corridor is uh, wide enough and high enough, the elephants learn to use it faster. If it's near settlements, they take longer. When the Mount Kenya Lewa underpass was created, 
we lay down all along the corridor under us, and with just a few days, we saw elephants walking through. What is SG's main focus now for saving elephants? Well, right at the core of what we're doing at Save the Elephants is research. We want to understand elephants as best as we possibly can. And this has two immediate impacts. One is to help everyone appreciate the upside of the incredible complex consciousnesses that elephants are. They're one of the most intelligent species that we share the planet with. And the more we can understand about them in their natural environment, the better. But understanding them also helps us plan landscapes and help people to live with them. And that's really important because elephants can be hard to live with, but there are ways in which people can do so safely and so we can coexist. So research is right at the core. We need to spread that research. That's the, that's the second layer to what we're doing. And then we need to help people either financially or through sharing our expertise. We need to help people implement the solutions and put in place the plans that will help us have a long and glorious coexistence with elephants in the natural world. What are the population stats for the all elephant species around the world? Well, you'd think that this would be a fairly easy question to answer, but it's particularly difficult to count forest elephants. And as most Asian elephant species across 13 different countries in Asia live in forests, the population count is quite difficult to be accurate, but they are estimating around 50,000 Asian elephants live today. That compares to the African forest elephant which have had a recent survey, and the new estimate is 135,000 elephants. So for the rest of Africa, for the African savanna elephant, the estimate is bouncing around 400,000 elephants. And there's a new survey summary coming out next year to give us even more details about where these elephants are. Now, the total of 535,000 elephants in Africa sounds like a lot, but don't forget that's down from 1.3 million African elephants that were roaming the continent as late as the 1970s. 